watching tape on Boise State. Just a great guy, and they're happy to have him. It takes a long time for 8.15 to come around on a college football Friday. Deep ball down the sideline to open things up. And Sean Monster, the redshirt senior, strikes on the big play for Boise State. In the football, they want to put the ball in the air. They want to put the ball in the hands of their senior quarterback and already first play of the game deep down the sideline. A terrific throw already. Monster with one big catch. Here comes pressure. Rippin can't get away. And the blitz from George Helmuth brings him to the turf. Real assault in the first play of the game. Field goal will be about 51 yards from here, and the pass goes incomplete, intended for A.J. Richardson. One penalty, false start, pushes the ball back. The try from 50 is a season long for Hogarth, and no good. McMarion needs 11 for the first down, and he sinks it in front of Darion Grimm. And the punt team coming on. But Avery Williams back at the 15-yard line. And minimal yardage on the return. Fresno State. Already four flags against Fresno State. One slip tackle. Tank Kelly finishes the play. Tackling A.J. Richardson. Beaver is off the field for at least one snap. On the toss back, they set up the screen, and it comes up the sidelines. Monsters back on the field, the receiver on this play gets targeted, he's short of the sticks, and he's brought down by Juju Hughes, so fourth down and about three for Boise State. This try from 35 for Hogarth, who missed earlier from 50. Gets enough leg into it, and it's true for the 3-0 lead. Broncos glad to have Louie back in action after he missed the game against BYU last week. Ball comes loose as McMarion goes down. It's another sack for Curtis Weaver, leader in the Mountain West. Christian Kroc, the left tackle, saves the day. Sets up third and 29. Pocket holds up well for McMarion, who's exceptionally mobile. And gets just what he can to the 19-yard line to set things up for the punter, Blake Cusick. Drives uncharacteristic of what we've seen all season long. Fair catch for Williams right at midfield. A punt of 31 yards. Played and starts. Madison trying to go through the middle. He gets stood up by the senior, James Bailey. Skillen's punt. Ronnie Rivers gets out of the way. It takes a pro bulldog bounce out to the 17-yard line. Down yet. Fresno just trying to get their first, first down of the game. Left side, it's Jordan Mims, their leading rusher, breaking away across the 45-yard line. The Broncos send four, McMarion sends it over the top, down the sideline for Johnson. He sidesteps his way back to the 15-yard line. Big hookup from one senior to another. McMarion with time to think. Time to throw, and back of the end zone, it's Keyshawn Johnson for the Fresno State score. Third down. Madison charges forward. It takes three defenders to bring him down, led by Mike Bell. Similar look to the edge, hard pursuit coming from Tank Kelly, and he's just a step late on the throw to Richardson. Kelly, one of the best corners in all of college football. Design rollout passing, complete looking for Richardson. Now it's fourth down again, and they're inside the red zone. Where do they go? And the fake. 
He's down short of the sticks. A turnover on downs. The Broncos tried for trickery, and the Bulldogs and James Bailey sniffed it out. Point lead. They've rattled off seven straight wins and 17 of their last 20. Long throw across the field finds Darion Grimm. They get touchdowns. When you give McMarion that much time, he's going to find somebody. This time it's running back Josh Hokin up the sideline, lower in the shoulder. McMarion. Three man rush, all sorts of time. McMarion flushed out, wide open, blue turf in front of him. Down to the 23 yard line. Just a one safety look from Boise State. Rivers has great speed to the outside, but he's angled toward the sideline and great initial pursuit from Keikoa Kekaula Kaniho keeps him from going anywhere. No good. The unlucky end of the field has been this side tonight. Hogarth a miss and Fuller the same keeps it a four point game. Walker backs off as the Bulldogs bring four. The throw is caught at the 35 yard line by Thomas for a Boise State first down. Or down. Rippin steps up, throws caught by Richardson. One of the things they thought he didn't do so well last week was move in the pocket, sense the pressure there. Rippin rolls and throws. That's too easy for Monster. ESPN app. Minute 28 for Boise State. A throw over the top, and that ball is picked off. 22nd takeaway of the year for Fresno State. Juju Hughes is on the move out across the 30 yard line. I just mentioned it. If you're the quarterback, you can't force it in there. That time, Brett Ripon trying to force the ball with pressure. Media timeout. Off. Final media timeout of the half. McMarion's got it, looking short, Rivers jukes one defender, and he's down to the 22, so the clock will stop momentarily at 10 seconds. Make it a touchdown lead. Asa Fuller ends the first 30 minutes with a three-point try, 10-7, Fresno State. Handoff for Rivers on first down. He doesn't get it up the middle and turns it toward midfield. Keikoa Nawahine, the second leading tackler for Boise State, stops him, but a big line caving everything down, finding the crease. McMarion's fastball is somehow snared by Keyshawn Johnson, and he trucks his way, continuing a first down catch and run. Keyshawn Johnson. Against a four-man rush, the throw for Rice, the tight end. Former wide receiver goes up to get it at 6-5, and it's first and goal. Was that the adjustment at halftime? That's what I talked about to end the first half. We hadn't called Jared Rice's name much, only had one catch in the first half. He's got the fade up top. And an eye for the sneak. The Broncos pull him back. Right on his tail. Kaniho. The Bulldog aggression. It's fumbled into the end zone and recovered. Ezekiel Noah falls on top. The runner scored before he lost the ball. Touchdown. And Fresno State wow. salvages the play. <laughs> because I thought Rivers had the hands on the, the ball. The previous play is under further review. And we just gotta watch. Is that ball touching the goal line? Just the tip of the football. 
And I think the look that I'm seeing, it doesn't have to be much. But I think that the tip of the football is touching the goal line for a touchdown before it's knocked out. Just from the couple looks that I've seen so far. No State, it's happened twice today for Boise. But coming into this game, it had only happened 16 times all year against their defense, second best in the country. Griffin, four-year starter, first non-first-year starter this year to face the Fresno State defense, hits Monster, his top option. In the pressure. Would have been a fourth and two, instead third and 16. Ripping with a check down for Bates, the tight end. He covers up, and he is real close. Seems to be about a yard short, Mike. Fourth down situation, and we talk about the aggressiveness. Madison's the back, he takes the handoff and plunges to the 30 for a Boise State first down. And we go down to the sidelines, and the nine allowed by Mississippi State, which will certainly be challenged this week, given the opponent. And the stretch of the goal line is a touchdown for Madison. Extra point away from a seven point game. There's your answer. The answer is just handing it off to Alexander Madison. And this is just a will and a want to run. He does not want to go down. He keeps those legs moving. He keeps turning. He knows where that orange end zone is. Pressure again forces a bad throw from McMary. And it's rare to see two straight incompletions from the senior quarterback. One defensive lineman dropping out. Good job. Nice disguise by Boise. Avery Williams makes the catch, did not signal for a fair catch. So he gets taken down at the 40, a punt of 33 from Cusick. You know, pumping the crowd up, jumping around on the bench. It's a much different feeling over here on the Boise side right now. A hurdle and a whole gaggle of defenders to stop Madison, who's energized. He scored Boise's only touchdown of the night and gets 10. You got to have a little wiggle, too. And that's what... Madison has. He's got the wiggle in the hole. Makes Jasad Haynes tackle air this time. Rippin looks left and throws that way. Rob Mahone. He's inside the slot. Rippin looks his way. Hits him on the slant. First down Broncos. They're big again with two tight ends. Rippin forced to run. He goes up the middle to the end zone. And he's short. At the one. The running back with Rippin ready to go. Madison's got it. He's in for his second touchdown of the night. Mims. Grimm makes the catch. Out to the 24-yard line. First down, Fresno State. That's your offense. I think Marcus McMurian is that guy. Mims. And he's stopped by Maeva, the middle linebacker. Back-to-back -back first downs. McMarion on the run, he's not going to make it. Short of the 40 and well short of the first down marker. Boise sends pressure, and the senior has no openings. And you play a lot of coverage, and that way, that way he had nowhere to go. Blake Cusick, one of the best punters in the country, rolls out, gets a low line drive kick. That takes a favorable bounce, and he drops this one inside the 20. A keep for Rippin. How about that? They're now 8 for 13 on third down. Madison gets the carry. Out toward midfield. It's been an electric second half for him. Third down. Four defenders rush. Plenty of time for Rippin going deep. He's got a connection and he's got a touchdown.
freshman Khalil Shakir keeps the party going and elevates Boise State to the lead. A 49-yard connection. Fourth quarter. You get to this point in the season. True freshmen, they grow up. They mature. And Khalil Shakur. So McMarion will need to use his accuracy, his team's versatility, right? Out tomorrow against Florida State and Jack Abraham of Southern Miss. He's got time. He's got his tight end, Rice. Fresno State down seven. Johnson with quite a grab there, battling with Tyler Horton. And Johnson, the nation's active leader in catches, gets that one. So they don't need to get all 10 yards on this play. McMarion fading as he throws. And it's out of bounds. Going for Mims, the running back, who made the grab, but not in the field of play. Six, the fifth year senior out of Reno, Nevada. And remember, that's the position that Riley Wimpy would be in, the middle linebacker. Remember, he's out, torn ACL from last week. Pry is from 50 to make it a four-point game for Fuller. Blocked! Back toward midfield. It's all Boise right now. He got a nice jump on the outside. And he's been close all game, but this one gets full extension. And that ball never had a chance to get any height. Williams off the ground. Trying to run, ripping again. But Allison gets a hand on him. The middle linebacker peeks his way through fourth down. Calm down. Wait, we got to go back out and play. It's not over yet. Certain energy in another game that may well come down to the wire as it did last week against BYU <laughs> to find some of those fun class photos from the mid 80s. Up top again, this time a completion out to the 40 yard line to Darion Grimm, gain of 20. Get him enough reps on the line. Check down throw for Rivers. He is shifty. First down, Fresno State. Easy pitch and catch. Grimm only had seven catches coming into this game. On the ninth play of the drive, McMarion goes down. Tyson Maeva, the middle linebacker, sacks him back at the 30. Great call by Andy Avalos. They show six, but they only bring four. And one of those four was Maeva. McMarion with the game on the line across the middle, incomplete. The celebrations began on the Boise State sideline. Fresno got what they wanted. They got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. He runs the 10-yard square in. The ball's there. It's just an outstanding job by Avery Williams, the cornerback. Watch him drive on the football. Great technique, right arm around the waist. From my eye length, from my eyes up here. It looked to be just a, a link of the chain short. It's a heck of a way to finish a game. 24-17, wow. Boise State keeps its Mountain West Conference title game hopes alive. They end a seven-game winning streak for Fresno State, and then their first conference loss of the year, making the matchups against Utah State, San Diego State for those respective squads, even more crucial in the final two weeks of the regular season.
Sounds.